Ayy, they knowin' my name, blowin' that thing. Yo, bitch, I'ma bang, this though the game. We not the same, so stay out my lane. I don't play no games, yo hoe is lame. Oh no, the fame, I gotta maintain. I fly like a plane, ain't no one to blame. Pimp no cane, I came up from Jane. Yo, bitch, give me brain, yo, bitch, give me top. Yo, bitch is up, so hit it just stop before you get popped. My dealers, they drop. As soon as y'all flop, y'all calling the cops. I keep me a mop. I'm never gon' swap for when I cop. I shit on my cock. Never gon' stop. We stay with the stock. Polo the socks. I used to sell rocks right on the block. I keep me a Glock. Now I'm sending shots, fucking these thoughts. Fuck what you thought. Like what I bought. Hey. <laughs> like what I bought. Ay. What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Professor Booty Eater back with another fire video. As y'all can see in the title today, how to get rich in the streets. Now, rich comes a long way. You know what I'm saying? The word rich comes a long way. Put it in my grip. The word rich can mean many different possibilities. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think about rich, we're thinking about four or five cars in your driveway. We're thinking about freaking, you know, stupid stuff like that, like mansions and stuff. That's filthy rich to me. We're, there's there's a level of rich and there's a level of filthy rich. I think mansions and all that. That's when you there's no black card and all that. You know there's there's limits to your to the word rich. I guess. Am I rich? I'm not rich like like a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting richer every single day. I'm getting richer every single day. I'm gaining money every single day. I'm gaining more money than I had yesterday every single day. What does that mean? That means I'm doing something right, and that means I'm getting richer every single day. So maybe in 10 years from now, I'll be a millionaire the way I keep this up. You never know. You never know. So all I'm trying to explain to y'all is how to become rich in the streets, doing what you do best, something that's fun in your interest because, I mean, it's about time somebody talks about this stuff because I know you see YouTube ads and stuff like this. Oh, try out my free book and you'll learn how to get rich in a few quick, quick and easy steps. That don't work. Like, especially you don't have a one-on-one -on -one guy who's going to teach you. Spark up, guys. Make sure y'all 18 and up if y'all sparking up tobacco products. Oh, uh, I was going to use my torch, but... That's why I don't like equal torches. And I know I need more boot, butane, boots, whatever it is. But I already put some more in there. So I hate these equal torch lighters. And I told y'all I don't want this lighter. But y'all were y'all were not having it. Y'all said get a torch. Got the cheapest torch out there, I think. But all I know is that I'm about to teach y'all how to get rich in the streets. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, spark up if y'all 18 and up. All right, you guys, so look, there's a lot of steps of becoming rich or richer, you know what I'm saying? And the first step is to make sure every bill is paid off before you think about collecting money from your bills or something like that. <coughs> <coughs> pay all your bills. Like, if y'all already pay y'all bills, y'all know what I'm saying. Pay your bills before you start what I'm trying to explain to y'all right now. So, let's say all your bills are paid now. <clears throat> right? So, let's say all your bills are paid. Now you got a little money. Simple as $20. 20 bucks, guys. 20 fucking bucks. Damn, my back's killing me. So, 20 bucks, man. What are you going to do with 20 bucks? You may ask yourself. Now, look. Believe it or not, I've got... I got my Mercedes, I got clothes, shoes, you know, jewelry and all that from 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I came out to 180 bucks when I came out of jail, guys. 180 bucks. Now, I didn't have no shoes or nothing like that because everything was gone. It was messed up. So I had to buy some shoes. So I bought some, what is it? Um, I forget what they're called. But I bought some white shoes at the mall. And um, 
it was like 130 for those shoes, right? Now, I was like, bruh, I only had, I only ended up having 20 bucks. Guess what I did? I bought something worth 20 bucks, but sold it for 30 bucks. Then I bought another 20, sold it for 30 again. You know how hard it is to play with little money like that? It's super hard. It's so small. You can't do nothing. But guess what? You can flip it so quick. So let's say I bought this thing for 20 bucks. I ended up selling it for 30, 40 bucks, right? Went back. Got another 20. Boom, boom. Then got another something that was 20 bucks. Until the point where I had enough for something for 50 bucks. Then I had enough for something for 100 bucks. Now, the hardest part about this all is when you first start off. And let's say you buy something like a, a remote control for 20 bucks, But you see it online is going for $40, $50. That's where you use your mind and hustle and comparison to the prices. And maybe meet up in the middle with those prices. But no matter what, you're still going to make a good profit off of what you're doing. Just make sure you're going to the right people. And you'll be Gucci, you know what I'm saying? But like... I came up off of 20 bucks, bro. Not not many people could say that. And I remember everybody, bro. Everybody. I helped a lot of people's careers. I helped so many people's careers, they don't even know it. And that's the funniest part about it all. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't even be in their position they're at right now. And they know that shit. So, I expect to thank you. But guess what? You don't get no love in the streets, guys. Because you get love, you get your feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, I it, it's hard to explain about how dirty these streets are. And the way I can explain that is I've helped many friends become boss level statuses. And yet, they still not loyal to your boy. They still out there, you know, fake flexing and flogging. Boy, we don't need none of that. Y'all see me, I'm doing my thing. I used to be way more high key. Now I'm low key about everything I do because you don't ever want to tell the right hand what the left hand's doing. Or you don't ever want to tell the right hand what the left hand's doing. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a way of saying you can't plan shit. Because if you plan shit, things never go as planned. And that's 100. What does this have to do about getting rich in the streets? Think about what I'm trying to say. <coughs> if y'all out here fronting merchandise, fronting products, fronting um, valuable stuff to people that you don't really trust or you have a second thought about, don't do it, guys. I'm telling y'all, like, trust and love comes a long way in these streets. There's no such thing as loyalty or none of that stuff when it comes down to, like, money. Because, I don't know, like, if you see $100 million in your face, think about it. Think about 100, what I'm trying to say. Exactly 100. Think about it. You have 100 million in your face. Or you got to kill, you got to kill your mom. For a hundred million dollars. Would you do it? I'll tell you what. I gotta take my glasses off for this. I'm sorry. Fudge. I don't know if I'll do it, bro. A hundred mil? Fudge. I don't ever have to work a day in my life. None of my peoples do. It's a small sacrifice for... It's just fucked up to think that way. But honestly, if I see a hundred million in my face, a hundred million, a hundred million, bro, come on. Anybody's going to switch for that type of money. And that's real facts, bro. I probably won't touch a hundred mil. But I'm not giving up. I'm not settling myself short. Ever. <coughs> <coughs> Damn. <coughs> so yeah guys, buy something 
if you if you have a lot of money you could buy more stuff for cheaper prices <coughs> and then you could sell them for more like let's say you got y'all get exactly what I'm trying to say right like y'all get the profit you know what I'm saying the profit way that's the way that's gonna build your status up at the same time when you're building your status up you got better prices now because you're building your way up and now you got better prices so the customers that you were messing with like for the merchandise or products whatever you got selling they they're gonna there's they're messing with you now that your prices are kind of rough and then when you come up and your prices are going down they're gonna definitely be messing with you guys that's 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 what it is I mean I know I have people like hit me up like hey um I need these type of shoes, but I won't have the money to this day. And I'm like, I can't do it. And I told myself when I told myself NBA never broke again, I told myself then that I would never front anything again. And I haven't fronted anything. Like, But only what I would do is if they're five bucks short, I would tell them just give me back next time. Now, that's not a front. You know what I'm saying? A front will be I give them the thing and tell them pay me back next time but it's like it's within the moment you know what i'm saying it's it's not never like i, I do it on purpose like front on purpose but i told myself i'll never front again things gone a lot better like that because i've lost over two two bands in front and shit and that's that's a lot of money if you think about it especially the merchandise i was selling back then so two bands in freaking front end and people are like, why you can't front? Boy, hell no. Nah. Y'all niggas don't even pay back nothing, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I still have people owe me to this day. I had people owe me for a year, and then I had to catch them and tell them what the fuck. I forgot about my money. Give my money. And they don't want no smoke, bro. They don't want no smoke. Like, ain't nobody want no smoke because if they did, they would have been hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm trying to say is, guys, it's real easy to get rich off of just 20 bucks. And I'm not talking about rich like a millionaire. I'm talking about rich as in you never had stuff you had before. You're getting richer. Like, I, I remember it's just a crazy long way of thinking about it. But there's a lot more explanations to think about. There's, like, ways to save money. There's ways to do this and that and there's not enough to explain in just like 18 minutes or so you know what I'm saying so we have to spread these videos out but um yeah guys like easy you buy something for 20 bucks someone someone buys it out there for 15 um for half of that you know what I'm saying so 30 bucks for and you spend 20 bucks you made 10 dollars profit and that's simple as that like say you only have 20 bucks in your pocket like just 20 bucks right or matter of fact, let's just say a hundred. Let's say you got a hundred bucks, right? <clears throat> you got a hundred dollars. You wondering what to do with a hundred dollars. <clears throat> I remember when I had my hundred, right? I made it up to a hundred bucks again. I was like, alright, bet. So guess what I did? I bought something for 80 bucks. And I sold that shit for 120. Now I had 140. I just made 40 bucks. Like, easy money way you know what I'm saying boom by the next day I have 40 bucks so I was making 50 bucks a day starting off you know what I'm saying slowly and go to stores go to neighborhoods go to places you could post up at and just sell your products you know if anybody tells you to leave then just leave because you don't want to give nobody trouble you don't want to be doing none of that stupid stuff because if you do that they're going to ask you for a permit to be selling stuff like that or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want none of that stuff because at the end of the day, <clears throat> only you could get you in trouble. So if you doing good, there's no reason why you should be getting in trouble. And that means you're messing up. So spread the word. Go to stores. Go to school. You know what I'm saying? Tell people you got hey, the newest shoes or you got this out, fire shoes and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just make sure you do it to the right people, you know what I'm saying, legit people, and not no snitch or anything like that that's just trying to get you in trouble. Because you could get snitched on if you're selling any products because you some products you need like a permit for. So that's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. It's real cheap for a permit. <laughs> I think it's like, I don't even know, like a couple bucks for some permits out here just to sell like an item. Like so you could have a stand or something. 
that's what I mean. So, or go to like a, I have, like you go to flea markets and all that stuff. You could be spreading the word everywhere, guys, and y'all could be making quick profits off of anything. Trust me when I say that. I haven't started no business yet as far as like uh, my merch yet, but I'm gonna start a merch business coming soon. I just I don't know what type of sizes to make as far as you know. I don't know if I should be making double double XL ones too with extra small ones too. I don't know, guys. So I might just make them by by the sizes or something. I don't know. I might make them by the day. So if y'all order it, I'll make them for y'all and then send them out because I don't know if I'm gonna have them all pre ready. Cause like I said, these shirts are not gonna be cheap. My merch is gonna be like something you're gonna wanna wear. Like it's gonna be like some real. It's gonna look like some real good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Not no cheap Walmart t-shirts or anything like that. So, it's gonna take some time to think about those designs. But I'm trying to get some profits off of that too. So we can have this channel growing. You know what I'm saying? Get better camera. Better uh, edit equipment. So I can actually edit these videos and actually do good and stuff. But uh, until then guys, I hope y'all learned something. New music on the way.